Hello there, welcome back to Selenium Training. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can work with window handles. We have on the website docker.com and this is the home page of this website. When we enter the website into our script, it directs us to this page. Suppose you want to open this open this sign in on a new tab. Right click on this and click open in next tab. This is one step and it opens uh, another tab. Now we will work, we will give the control to this particular child tab and uh, the parent tab, tab. So the thing is, we will give the control, change the controls from one window to another window. Another uh, way method here is, if you want to open this link in a new tab, you need to press control from the keyboard and then click on this sign in button. In this way, it is also opening uh, in a new tab. So let's execute this thing in our script. All right. Let me just in the previous uh, video, I created this project and added the jar files. So I'll create one handle file, one class file here to reduce some time. All right. So the common step for all the project is to invoke the Chrome browser. I have inserted the uh, a code to invoke the Chrome browser and I will import the packages for the web driver and Chrome driver because I am using browser as my Chrome. All right. Now let's hit the URL driver dot get and let's copy that from here. All right. Now what is the other thing you want to do? You want to open this sign in into a new tab. Let's inspect this. All right, you can verify your uh, XPath or CSS, anything here that you want. Let me just create class. We have one uh, attribute here class and the value of class is here uh, D none. It's a long value and let i have clearly explained how you can locate an element all right from css selector right driver if you are facing any issues like while locating so uh, i am going through the css selector path right now for that this is the syntax braces and i am uh, taking one attribute in 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 this attribute is class and i am taking the value of the uh, add uh, a class attribute if you want to know more about the locators please refer to the previous video you will get a clear understanding driver dot find element by css selector right and give the xpath sorry css selector now dot we usually click using the click method but right now the thing is different you want to open this sign in into a new tab so as i mentioned earlier you have to press control from the keyboard and then click on this button but you have to tell selenium please but you have to tell selenium that please control please hold the control button from the keyboard so to do that we will be using one method called keys dot chord right string s is equal to keys dot chord it is a keys dot chord is a method in selenium which is used to hold some multiple keys simultaneously which is used to trigger multiple keys simultaneously so what are we telling it i am telling it please hold the control and then press enter you want to click on the sign in now now I have inserted one method in my script, but I want I, I need to tell to this selector to this element that you have uh, the buttons are available in the string s. So I will send the keys s. All right, guys. Now, if you execute the script, the browser this sign in will be opened in a new window or a new tab. Basically, in Selenium. Uh, wind, uh, a new window or a new tab they are same, they are the same concept you can either say new window or you can either say new tab right now 
now here suppose you have another uh, you now you are having two tabs now you want to give the control to each and every tab or each and every window all right for that we have one method called special method driver dot win get window handle handle sorry we are dealing with multiple right now all right if you hover the mouse on it it uh, we have to return the data in set form in string form so let's just set the form to return the data no. all right window now import the package for this uh, set all right now you have to iterate through each and every window each and every tab to do that we have one class in selenium called iterator and we need to uh, return it as string type because we have here mentioned set as string type right and now our windows window handles are located in windows so we need to iterate through windows so we will be using windows dot iterator right now import the package for iterator something happened this is import iterator java dot util right now this is the parent window and this is the child window now you need to switch to these windows how you can do that in java we have special methods for that our iterator is it dot we have a method called next through this next method it finds that if they uh, it moves to the next tab that is open it finds the next search that is available all right let's store it in a string p string parent right now the control is here now you want to shift to the child class let's create another string c it dot next if there are many elements you need to just uh, use this it dot next iterator and uh, use the next method all right now we have the information of uh, of the new tabs but now you want to switch to the windows in selenium we have command for that driver dot switch to and where you want to switch window which window you want to switch i want to switch the child window let's name it as child i want to switch to the child window all right now right once it has clicked it has uh, clicked to the child window i want it to get this text let's verify so uh, this way we can verify whether it is printing the correct output or not right so let's quickly inspect this control f from keyboard to search now i'm placing the values and the add uh, and the attribute is class all right our xpath our css selector is correct now we will print this in output driver dot find element by dot css selector and please uh, paste the value and here dot get text we will get the text all right let's execute this script and uh, we will see then further we will add some more changes to this guys if you are facing any issues please mention in the comment section one chrome one chrome browser will be invoked now it will click on the sign in in a new tab it has done and the control is to the child tab it was pretty quick 
let's add some timer so you can easily get through it let's add some timer here let's add some timer here chat dot sleep let's add four seconds so you can easily watch this thing right and let's add here also all right you saw the execution now let's add some more steps so at the last you will see the main execution now the control is here now i want to go to back to the parent window all right our parent window here is p now simply write driver dot switch to dot window and p now i want to give the back control to the parent window right right now in the parent window let's add throws declaration in the parent window i want to grab this text let's inspect this we have title and let's check it here whether we are our path is correct or not yes it's correct css selector we have worked a lot with xpath now we are working with css selector system right driver dot find element by css selector paste the css selector and get text right and we will close the browser this time driver dot sleep let's add three seconds and then driver dot close all right yeah so let's just execute the script i hope in this execution you will clearly be able to see the difference because we have added some time going to the official website docker.com here from there it's clicking to a new tab open the control is was still in the parent now the control is in the child it will get text from here and the control is back to the parent window right and it's closing only one instance we have used driver dot close and it is only closing the one instance that uh, that the main ex uh, that was a main window that was open for the first time now if you want to close both the windows we have to use driver dot close quit so this is one important question what is the difference between driver dot close and driver dot quit because driver dot close uh, is only closing the single window that it has opened and this is a ch uh, child window sorry this is the execution this is the child window here right so driver dot quit it will create or it will uh, uh, it will close all the instances opened by a google chrome browser right let's see the execution this time this is one of the famous interview questions what is the difference between driver dot close and driver dot quit i uh it was great like uh, we uh, it was great that this exception came here and i was able to tell you at the same time so it will help you in your interviews you see control is with the parent now the control has been shifted to the child and once again the control is shifted back to the parent and it has closed all the instances of the browser i hope guys this was wonderful to watch uh, it took me some time to uh, make uh, window handles as easy for you so you can easily understand and get a better understanding of the procedure if you are facing any issues please mention in the comments guys i'm i'm giving it everything thank you so much for your time and Please comment, share and subscribe by among your friends. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.